Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinus and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within on the Valkyrie playthrough. Uh, today, we need to move on with the plan that Zhang started. We need to install uh, a fake transponder at the tip of a train, which will lure a battleship out of the way of a major city. And I think that city is Tokyo, but I'm not really sure. So we'll see that in a second. Uh, with us, we have our starting squad, our mech, and our second assault ready to kick some ass. So, without further ado, let's head into it. Dropship has arrived. We're heading into China for the next operation. So, Shanghai, I was sorry, Shanghai. So this mission is a lot like uh, the few scripted missions that we've done before. So we had first um, Portland. The alien battleship is currently on course for the city, and we don't call. have much time to respond. Using the device provided by Zhang, Dr. Shen has developed a series of modified transponders that should throw off the alien's navigational computer. However, the only way for us to get them in position fast enough is by using the commuter rail network running through the city. Okay, so that's what we need to do. We have 10 turns to get to the end of the train. But along the way we need to deactivate a few other things. Um, but we'll see that when we get there. So what I was saying, this mission is very much uh, like the other scripted mission that we've done. Horton was this way. Uh, the, the first one, Friends in Low Places with Jack, was also like this. It's, it's kind of scripted so we know um, kind of where the enemies are. Because I need to do this on, off the top of my head. But I think we should be fine. You normally have about one or two turns left when you hurry along the train to get to the end. So let's hope we can do this. So, I'm gonna start with putting Ruby up top. Don't think we startle any aliens when we do that. There we go. And then we just have to move everybody up fast enough. So I'm gonna start out with putting Blake on the left of the train. The Mac on the right. make sure we don't step over a certain threshold that we uh, we would trigger enemies with so since she is over there I think I'm Moving safe by putting someone over here there we go then the heavy should also be closer Affirmative. Moving out. And I'm gonna add wise to the back here on the left to spread out a bit and get an angle on pretty much everything, and the Mac will overwatch. So we usually have one soldier that enters the train and starts heading further, so this is one of those things we need to deactivate. Um, so in this thing we're gonna use, uh, in this mission we're gonna use Texas for that role, since so she has the lightning reflexes. Which allows her to dodge the reaction shot. This is the train we're going to be using to move the transponders. It's not ideal, but we'll have to place each of the transponders in a fixed position in order to ensure the signal strength. There we go. I was a bit wrong. We don't need to deactivate anything. We just need to uh, place transponders along the train. So now we're close enough Moving to that position. full cover and we're going to probably activate visual. something. Yeah, there we go. To Tin Man. So we have one that entered the train right away. Uh, we still have sight on both of them, but I should try and focus my efforts on the one inside the train. Since uh, Ruby will probably be able to hit the other one. So let's try this. That is a great start. Thank you, Blake. Knew I would could be able would be able to count on you. So Ruby! Let's say we end that uh, flo little floater. Tin Man over there. Now shall we? 100%? There we go. In the face. A whopping 10 
damage. So let's move along. I'm gonna use the side of the train for Weiss. And use the mech to scout out to this side. And move the Yang up further. Hopefully not too far. Weiss is good. Jessica is good. So I might even try and put her a bit closer already. You know what? I can. I need to. Hmm. That's affirmative. There we go. Okay. I was afraid I would trigger anything else. Because we're gonna get drops at a certain point. I think it's when we activate the first transponder. There we go. Clear to engage. And we have two more tin men. We have sight on one of them, and the other one went behind this bench, I think. We're gonna have to see how we handle that one. I think That's if I move ready. the mech up towards that one. I see the one on the right. Yeah, there we go. But first, first things first. Good. Play that the transponder, transponder is in place and operational. Once the rest are deployed, they'll begin transmitting a signal to confuse the alien navigation system. If everything goes according to plan, the signal should pull the battleship off course, leaving us with a prime opportunity for an ambush. Thank you, Bradford. So we have a shot apparently at the right tin man, which is awesome. I'm gonna see who has sight on what around here. Um, if I put Blake here, can I flank? Mm. I'm gonna have to run and gun. Yes, I think... Yeah, that's gonna be a flank. Moving. Hopefully not trigger anything else, no. I am doubting to go for rapid fire because I do really want to kill that thing yeah okay one shot was enough Out of the game. thank you Blake Moving to position. do you even have a shot it's even better through the window into the canopy and down he goes Enemy down. wow okay didn't think it would go that smooth, but I probably can even activate that one. Interesting. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. This is probably stupid, but okay then. Let's move up Texas a bit further as well, That's since we didn't trigger anything anyway. Yeah, there we go. And keep. Ruby on an overwatch shot, which I think is gonna matter in the next turn. Commander, since activating that transponder. It looks like they were air launched from the battleship. Activate a dropping. There we go, there's one muton. Is that one overwatch shot? Okay, the mech apparently can't see him. It should do a good chunk of damage, five damage. Great. Is he gonna intimidate now? He could, but he doesn't. That's only one tiny muton who is on Overwatch. Not that we really care. Um. Well, why? Since you're uh, here anyway, maybe I should use. Um, taxes to draw the overwatch shot. Lightning reflexes. And he misses his overwatch shot. And that allows us to uh, shoot him in his face from any direction. So I even would be able to... Just shoot him and move away again. With Blake. 
Goodbye. No longer a threat. And now I can move her back over here. Wise should move along as well. Double time. And I'll probably try and put Ruby a bit closer as well for her line of sight to the, the right side because these kiosks might block any shots. Okay. Keep rolling, strike one. There we go. We've got two transponders left. I do want to slowly move up, but I'm afraid there's going to be another Heading batch of tin men on the right. Okay, apparently not. So I shouldn't move Texas from there, but I should move Yang a bit closer inside the train, Copy maybe that. here. There we go. Okay, we're pretty safe right now. So Overwatch is for those that need it. Okay, everybody Overwatch. The alien battleship is still on a direct course for the city commander. We'll have to move quickly. Okay, no drops, which is very good actually. I would have expected something to drop. So let's put Texas behind the next transponder. You're almost there. And activated. Only one transponder left to be activated. So now we have only one transponder in the next car, and then we need to get into the cockpit. So I'm gonna try and see if we don't trigger anything if we move closer. Heading out. Nothing. Maybe the Mac a bit further. Okay, we're pretty good then. Uh, move up okay. wise to that full cover. And then I'm gonna put Blake against the train oh, yeah. card here. And have a reload since he uh, shot a lot of things lately. Everybody else on Overwatch. Except for Ruby, since I want to reload her as well. Oh, yeah. Hostile units are moving on strike one's position. There we go. Commander. Another drop. One right on top of the train, another muton. I think we'll be able to see that one. And then there's one outside as well, but I think I'm just gonna punch that guy. Okay! A lot of things are dying, or not dying, but the one on top is still in one piece, sadly. So we're gonna start... Hmm, maybe I shouldn't start. Do we have 100% shots? Not really. I think I can use Texas to get close enough to that Newton and dodge his overwatch shot. The one on top of the train shouldn't be able to shoot me from where he's standing. There we go, and now I'm inside the close combat ring and I can shoot him in the face. How the hell do you miss that? Okay, never Jumping mind. In. Will you uh, take care of that for me? Thank you, Yang. See you in hell. Luckily, I can count on you, and she earns herself a promotion. That does, however, mean we need to kill that mutant on top with what we have. So, Weiss. Thank you, that's something at least. The only one able to shoot him now. 98% chance to hit and a 100% chance to critical, so that should kill him. Please. Pretty please. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So we might have lost a turn there. I'm just gonna reposition everyone a bit. Oh fuck, that wasn't supposed to happen. 
Not to worry though, I still have a few soldiers left. And I think I can use Blake as a ways of getting to the Tin Man. Hopefully not triggering anything else, because I'm gonna be screwed. There were two icons here. Please kill it, thank you! Awesome. Need to so there, Hostile there. Target neutralized. Let me speak, please. There is still something really close. Um, out. So I'm putting Blake in position and ha have her be the only Overwatch Commander, we're left. running short on time. That battleship is still on a direct course for the city. We have to get moving. So Texas. Move further into the train, please. Heading there now. Contact. There we go. There's the last tin man. Should be the last guy left. Ooh, but he's in a really annoying position. Um. Oh, that's a bummer. I will probably not be able to see him from over there. So I'm gonna use the mech to bait him out. Moving. Wait, how the fuck do you even see that guy? I don't care, I need you to reload. A rocket, is that a solution? Probably not. Anything? No. Didn't think so. So Texas is the closest one. But maybe... That's on the same line, probably. I'm afraid that would be too far. Going in for the kill. But maybe, just maybe, Already if I put there. her here, she might be MVP again. Yeah. Okay. So that's well, not not to uh, shout out too soon. Do 67% shots. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Got him. I'm clapping. Fuck the aliens. That's affirmative. I don't think there's anything else left. Oh yeah. But uh well never Rolling. say never. So Texas, please. No. Moving Move out. up. We're gonna do this with a lot of turns left. Ruby Overwatch. The angry load. Now the only thing we need to do is operate this if he wants to we've got it all of the transponders are now transmitting now you just need to activate the train's drive system and now we need to enter received. the cockpits and nice that job, should complete like the mission the transponders are in position and the train is ready to leave the station oh yeah once it crosses paths with the battleship the aliens are in for a surprise they are in for a surprise and nobody got shot i think Amazing. Simply amazing. Thank you girls, you did amazing. Well aside from taxes that missed that shot close by, so... Nine aliens killed and no operatives lost. Excellent indeed. So I'm back home, we might have a few promotions, I think. I'm certainly impressed with the results so far, especially considering the conditions down there. So, Captain promoted to Major huh? Ruby Grenadier. Seriously, Grenadier for a sniper. Well, I'll take it anyway. So that adds one damage uh, on grenades, and I can have two extra grenades in a single inventory slot. Uh, combine that with 
the extra carrying capacity will soon hopefully have and that will be pretty so Jessica the Mac Vigil point targeting confers two bonus damage against targets that have been autopsied since we can do autopsies immediately that would be amazing uh, damage control is mo a much more defensive ability uh, in, the, in the mech tree, the left ones are probably the more uh, offensive, so aggressive uh, perks, and the right ones are the defensive perks. I'm gonna go with vital point targeting, because those two extra points of damage can, do really come in handy. Uh, and since we can do autopsies immediately, that will be practically every enemy, except for the first time that we meet that enemy. So, Yang also major. Covering fire allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks and not just movement. Which could be handy in some situations, but generally it won't happen. So we are very close to a few kernels. Uh, 6 man corpses, 3 mutant corpses and a buttload of weapon fragments. And 2 engineers! We will be in touch, Commander. But the biggest reward will come from the mission that we'll get next. But first, um, don't think we really need the new to engineers do anything. Arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So I apologize for that. I just got a phone call. But where were we? Kind of lost my. Our cyber suits have faced the trials of battle and were proven bearings. Effective. As but I don't think we really need to do troopers. anything left yet. To the suits. Any and more medals? No. Help put an end to this so I think we'll just have to scan again. Um, I might do the request. Get those extra engineers, but I'm not really pressed for that. We still have 13 days on that request, so let's get into the next mission now, shall we? There we go. Because now that we've stranded that battleship, we need to extract anything we can get from that. But first we need to clear that entire place of aliens, of course. So, Excellent. next time, look forward to seeing your progress. we will see the progress on these lovely six ladies ready for battle and ready to clear out an entire giant battleship in the next episode and it will be a big episode because uh, that battleship is quite big but if we get through it we the rewards will be enormous and we'll be able to uh, expand our base a lot and get our soldiers equipped appropriately so before that if you like the video don't forget to like this video on YouTube and if you haven't already please if you want to support this fine fellow don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Alien-filled episode of XCOM, Enemy Within, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye!